Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri. So as the title suggests, today we're going to be um, going over how to make a Dragon Arc weapon. Now this video was somewhat requested, somewhat just a, a, a mean, um, what's, how do you say that? Like a, something, a product of circumstance is what I want to say. So. Once upon a time, I had people asking me, well, how do you make a, a, a gargoyle weapon? How do you make a dragon arc? You know, what, what do I need to do for this? What do I need to do for that? And, you know, what do I need for Satan weapons and all that sort of thing? And I think I did the Satan one a long time ago, just, just briefly explained it, because I wasn't going to make another Satan weapon. But, um, as, you know, as chance would have it, uh, I was doing Mephistopheles uh, by myself the other day. Like, just, I was, like, carrying it a little bit, and I realized, um... Because I mostly use Verdant Storm to fight him. I'm like, I only have one weapon with Verdant Storm. So, I was like, I would really, really want a new weapon with Verdant Storm. And I'm like, well, I don't want another Nova. That'd be boring. Um, besides, I'd rather use the, those drops for Abyss. Um, I ended up uh, making... Um, I said, I'll go for a Zenith, a Gakuho weapon. Because I never really get to use my Zenith. I made it. And then as soon as I made it, I made the Dragon Arc. So it wasn't it wasn't something like that. Um, it wasn't like where I had my Rainwater for at least a month and then then later made the, the Dayton Rue. Um, I never really got to use my Zenith. It literally had like Poison Fang and like other moves on. It was, it was I didn't touch it because I would just smelted it at 70, made the Dayton Rue, and then that was that. So... So yeah, so, um, what was it, Eva, you know, she was working on her Dragon Arcs, and she was doing Gakuho, and I'm like, oh man, Gakuho sucks, like, I hate Gakuho, I'm like, I, I kind of want to make a second Gakuho, and like, can I go with you, and normally she wouldn't let me, but, because she likes to do stuff alone, but we did Gakuho together, and, like, it paid off, because we had so many lag spikes, and so much just bullshit death, and all the reses helped, and it was a lot of fun, like, sometimes we'd just be in there fighting, and then we just die to random Gakuho bullshit, and, we'd, and it was just great, it was a good time. So, I actually got the jewels with her very, very fast, um, like, before it took me, I had to, like, fever boost to get my jewels, but then this time, just with her... Like, me and her were getting jewels back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like, she made her zenith, and then made... And then she got the three other jewels, like, the same day. Like, no boost. Like, it was... It was, it was amazing. Like, I had one jewel on me. And then I got, like, two more jewels in, like, a week. Like, less. Like, I got two jewels in, like, three days. It was amazing. Like, every run that she got a jewel, I'd get a, a jewel, like, the next run. It was... It was really cool. It was really cool. So, last night, um... I ended up getting the last scales. It took a while, but we got them. Um, so, do I have to repair anything? No, I don't. Okay. So, I'm going to go to weapon smithing and just show what, what it really needs to be to make a dragon arc weapon. So, dragon arcs are way, 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 way harder than gargs to create. Um, and for one reason, one reason, well, for a few reasons, actually. One, I would say that dragon arcs are arguably harder than gargoyles. E extremely harder than gargoyles. Um, like our goals are being at the beginning are very intimidating. They were very tough, but you know, skill force buffs and things like that. And now their HP doesn't change because how many people are in the party or something like that. I just felt like they were a lot easier to beat this time around. Um, whenever I go do gargoyles, yeah, I have better weaponry and better wep uh, mags and stuff like that, but I'm seeing a lot more people just getting them. Like they're not as hard as they used to be. I find just because of all the skill force buffs and all that. Anyway, um, like, what's the difference between Dragon Arcs and Gargoyles is that Dragon Arcs go up more than Gargoyles, and it's not just a 10 second, I'm gonna throw fireballs at you, you feast, and then you kill them. It's like, when they go up, you need to kill, like, three crystals and fight off all these exploding Perningolins, and it's like, oh my god. And for those crystals, like, if you don't have wind or mountain or something that works on them, like, Tencho's different, you need, like, water and holy and... Or not water and holy, like water and dark to deal with those, or just some big attack. But um, generally for Gakuho and Osame, those green crystals they erect, you have to hit them with either wind or mountain or just something that does a lot of damage. Ice sometimes works. Um, you know, I wish those crystals were in my monster card because they could tell me what they're weak to. But like for those, like if you don't have those options, like let's say you're fighting Gakuho and all you're bringing is rain and ice, like you're you're not gonna do really well against those crystals. The fish is gonna kill you, and the wind is gonna destroy you, and like it's it's a bad time. And in my opinion, the best way to deal with those crystals is a 
either have like Miyamoto and Sepulcher or Eternal War or some wind. That's a wind attack, right? Have a Vanguard with wind. Like, you know, Izuna, you can bring Izuna in there with a triple Kamaitachi want and she will dispose of it very, very quickly. Um, that's a really good method if you're doing Tensho and if you have Genai, Genai can use her darkness on Tensho himself or she can use her darkness on the crystals themselves to break them. Um, you know, any, any holy attack, no, 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 it's not holy attacks, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's dark and fire. And I'm talking a little too, um, too quick. It's not dark and fire. You need water and dark. I, I never fight Tensho. Like, Tensho is, like, not in my vocabulary. I never do him. Um, but yeah, like, it's, the main fight of Gar of Dragon Arcs is, you gotta take out the crystals, and when they land, you need to kill them very quickly. You need to just dish out all the DPS. You got to know that when they charge at you, they're invincible. They don't take damage. Um, you know, you just... Gargoyles or Dragon Arcs are something you do over time. You get used to it. But in my opinion, it's all about the like crystal disposal. Like, it's all about someone takes out the crystals, someone deals the damage, or you do both, whatever it is. If you're in a team... Um, you're gonna need, you know, someone either with Kamaitachi Wind or Verdant Storm. Verdant Storm, if you get a full charge Verdant Storm off on those crystals, they're gone. Like, if you're under half, they're just gone. Hi, you were just watching one of my guys? Cool. Hey, Power Wolf. That's cool. So, Dragon Arc, I'm not gonna fight a Dragon Arc on stream. That's energy. I don't need to use them anymore, because, as you can see here, like, I can make my, um, my horn, my zenith here. Or not, th like, the first part of the zenith, and I have the drops for, you know, all of them. I just got to make one to make the next. So fighting the fighting the dragon arcs is going to come with time. It's going to be different from gargoyles. But as long as you're focused and prepared to take out the crystals and then just deal a bunch of damage to them and lance over a lot of their attacks. If you have lance and and I recommend lance. Like sure, lance doesn't really work on tent show. Like you could use glacial lance. It sort of works, but um. Like, people like Gakuho, where you really, like, can't block his, like, huge mountain attacks. And Osame, who just... They just have this huge attack that's, like, really laggy on PS4. You can't see it, and if you block it, you stunned, and then you just die. And it's just bad. And the best um, answer to that that we found is just when you see it coming, you know it's coming, just, just, just take a leap of faith and lance. Like, do two lances. And just, like... You know, and you just lance over it, lance down, sometimes it protects you. When someone fire, like, you're saying, like, something was going to hit you and they fireball and it dies and they save your life. I get that. That's cool. All right. So, you know, Dragon Arcs, the fights, they'll take time. Just bring Wind or Mountain to deal with the crystals. You should be fine or dark or water if you're fighting Tensho. But on average, Osama and Gakuho, they have the same crystals. So it's better to be prepared for them because if you're prepared to fight, Tensho, you're prepared to fight his crystals. Um, anyway, um, and, and another another point I'll actually say about Dragon Arc is if you're doing it in a team, because I remember when we did it in a team, um, if you can't just kill the Dragon Arc in like two, four, or five minutes or whatever, you know, you can't dispose of them very quickly. You're still, it's going to take you like 10 minute runs. Um, if you're going into a team, and I recommend a team, um, you're going to want Resurrection. Obviously, every warding you want Resurrection. Um... But one thing you want to do is whoever's not doing the most amount of damage. I want to say like if you're three people, right? And let's say one person's job is to take care of the crystals. One person's job is to beat the shit out of the dragon arc. And one person's job is to be there and help both and support and do overall damage. That third guy, the one who's there, who's not the main DPS on either the crystal or the Gakaho or both. He's the guy you want to be the first to hit the dragon arc. Because if that, that guy, when he's the first person to hit the Dragon Arc, he's the guy that the Dragon Arc is going to send their giant tornadoes after. Or their volcanoes or whatever. Um, that that's, that's a trick. So when you have that one guy take the aggro, when the Dragon Arc goes up, make sure he stays away from the guy who's taking out the crystals. That way, he's not the the guy who's verdant storming or kamaitachiing or wind thrusting or whatever they're doing, blue fang blading, whatever it may be. That guy will not if 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 the if the two party the two people stay away from each other, the guy who's taking out the crystals will not get hit by those attacks. It, it's less likely to. 
So, like, one guy just runs away in a corner and just, like, you know, dances with the thing, takes the aggro for that, the other, the other guy can dispose of the crystals, and the third guy can look up in the sky, see where the Dragonair is coming down, and just ready his lances or his best attacks, his blistering ice waves, whatever it may be for when he comes down, beat the sh get two good clean hits at him when he comes down, beat the shit out of him, and then, you know, you do great damage, he teleports, you're separated as it is, and you have more chances to hit him when he's teleporting, because you're in, like, three different locations let's say and you can just beat the crap out of the dragon arc and then he'll take moderate damage if he takes at least 25% he will go up and rinse and repeat and then you're already in the same cycle you know you just keep that going and he'll you know he'll go down pretty quick if you can maintain that strategy so for Dra for gar I always say gargoyles but it's dragon arcs I don't talk about dragon arcs but for dragon arcs I say that's that's how we did it was um you need to divide and conquer you know a division of labor, know each other, have res ready, things like that, and it just really, really helps. Um, another thing I'll say about Dragon Arc that helps is if you're in a two-man party, if you're in a two-man party and, and the Dragon Arc kills you and your teammate, and plural teammates, um, when you all get up, we've noticed that when you all get up, don't R1 the Dragon Arc. Because when you get up, the Dragon Arc is not by default aggroed. The Dragon Arc will not be by default aggroed to either of you. And he will be aggroed to who the first person who hits him, and then he's going to retaliate. You're not just going to... If you're in a multi-party, you know, uh, more than one person, he will not by default um, just start beating the shit out of them. If, you, if someone gets up and R1s him, then that's a different story. But one of the things we found out is, um, let's say two people get up, he will be aggroed onto one person, but he will not retaliate until he's hit. So... That's what I'm saying is he, he will pick someone, all enemies aggro, but he will not retaliate until he's hit. He'll just be standing there looking off to the side doing nothing. And during that moment, um, it's best just to wait for the main DPS guy or both of you, whatever, to wait for your lances or your best attack to everything, all your skills, whatever you're going to use on him. Wait for those cooldowns to replenish, you know, get ready to use again. And then start hitting him with that before he's able to retaliate. Because once you hit him, he might teleport or fight back. But if you hit him with a good 2 mil lance, well that's 2 mil you couldn't have done before he teleported. So that's one one tip I can give for Dragon Arc that really helped us. Um, I remember we were doing that and we came up with that strategy and it really, really helped us. So in general, that's that's the general you know oral lesson of how you fight a Dragon Arc. Um, you know... I do lots of streams where we fight Dragon Arcs. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, there's a lot. If you, I'm pretty sure you can find Dragon Arc runs on YouTube. I know um, Night Sky long ago had done one, I believe, for Gakaho as twin. It was a really good run. Um, so if you want to watch a practical fight, I'm pretty sure you can look it up on YouTube and find something. Um, but if not, you know, I could run one later in the future, but my results will be skewed because I'll use like Valkyrie. Valkyrie, I'll, t I'll tell you this too. So vanguards, like I said, that will tear apart a, van uh, a dragon arc. So vanguards that are just really good for it. So Valkyrie tears apart Gakuho. Um, Valkyrie, um, when she charges her rocket and spear, all the fish that run up to you and explode will not, th they don't have to touch you to explode. Like they just run up. They just run up to you, and they explode. And if you're in Valkyrie, um, Valkyrie's charging her spear. She's invincible. They all explode. You take no damage. And Rocket and Spear can really, really destroy the crystals. It's just a really powerful attack. If you crit like Rocket and Seven, it will just destroy a crystal. Um, and she does like millions of damage to Gakuho, so she's very, very, very good. And as Eva says, if you are, are lucky enough, or smart enough, I should say, to have a Miyamoto, now there's a luck and smartness, smartness is rolling for her, luck is actually getting her. If you have a Miyamoto, 150, 100, doesn't matter. She is amazing for Aosame and Tencho. Um, the reason why is Miyamoto has um, Sepulchre, the um, wind attack, that will destroy Aosame. She has Dominion, a fire attack. She has a couple fire attacks that can work on Aosame. I'm not talking Crimson Flame Blast Smash. I'm talking about the one she gets later on going to 150, um, Dominion, and things like that. Um, Ogi Dominion. We'll, we'll learn more about that when I make my 150 guide pretty soon. 
Uh, we'll go over all those skills. And we'll have a really intensive Miyamoto session for that. But her Sepulchre works really good in Osame. Uh, Eternal War and Sepulchre can both destroy crystals in Tensho and Gakuho. She can work in Gakuho. Like, you can use her. It'll work. And um, in Tensho, you just use Collapsing Blade on, like, everything. The crystals, uh, Tensho. If you're fast enough and strong enough, like, if you have 150 with heart, uh, Tensho on Hell dies before he goes up. Like, you just go, like, Tensho, you just go heart, Aggression, collapsing seven, collapsing seven, collapsing six, collapsing six, change weapon, rinse, repeat. Well, actually, you don't even need to because if you're in heart, you have max cooldown. So it's just like seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Like Miyamoto will just cut Tensho up. Same thing with Dark Miyamoto. She can work, as I said earlier. Um, Genai has collapsing blade, so she can work on Tensho. Uh, she can work on the crystals. Um, Aosame. Um, I, I want to say Izuna and Genai can both work on Osame. Anyone with fire. If you have Azura, for the love of God, use Azura and Osame. I want to do that. Like, legit, I want to just go fight Osame with Azura. Like, I want to do that. And after I make this weapon, I might just do that just for fun because I have some energy. I don't know if Eva has energy or not, but she can come with me if she wants. But I want to just go to Aosame. I, I've just wanted to do Aosame with uh, Azura. I think it would be like the funnest friggin' thing. I think it would be so fun. So that's that's basically the overall gist of how you fight a um, a Dragon Arc. Um, you can use v Venus as well on Aosame because it's weak to Fire and Wind. Uh, I, just to state their weaknesses, Aosame is weak to Fire and Wind. Gakaho is weak to Rain and Ice. And Tensho is weak to Water and Dark. So, Rain works on two of them, and, you know, Ice works on, like, two of them. So, uh, you know, what was I going to say? So, Venus can work on Osame. You'll have 50 energy on Login? Okay. Well, we'll see what it is then. Then, th th maybe we'll see an Osame video later. Maybe not just in this, so it's just a, it's just a distinct, you know, building this weapon sort of guide. So... Yeah, Venus can work on Osame because she is holy and wind, so she could... No, there's no... We don't have... Te, there's no Day 10 Ryu, so you can't really fight a dark... Holy doesn't work. So, yeah, Venus can work on Osame. Siegfried is what? He, Siegfried is lightning and holy. Siegfried won't really work that well. He does have Blistering Ice Wave, but it's kind of ass. Like, it, you could use it on Gakaho, but... I don't know. You'd have to have a 5 scroll Siegfried, in my opinion. Um... Who else is there? Are there any more divine possessions out there? I don't even know. I'm, I'm just gonna look at them real quick to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Rain, no, falls over twitching his sword. <laughs> well, if they're weak to rain, they're weak to ice, you know? So... Like, divine possessions, Venus can work on Aosame, Siegfried can technically work on Gakaho if you use Blistering Ice Wave, but I don't even think it's that strong on him. Uh, Valkyrie works on Gakaho very easily. Um, I think Valkyrie can work on Osame as well. Uh, like Rocketin, because it's just a holy attack, like a holy ice attack, it just works. Like it, it just works. Like it's like this neutral element that just works. Um, Azura will destroy Osame, no problem at all. He's got fire and mountain, so he's really good on crystals as well. Uh, but Tensho, I don't think you want Azra anywhere near Tensho. You don't want that. Uh, Miyamoto, you know, Collapsing Blade, Wind Attacks, beats all three of them. You can really use it to beat all three of them. Because if you can... She can do enough damage to Gakuho anyway. But, um... You know, she takes out the Crystals very, very well with either Sepulchre, um, you know, Eternal War, and, um... Just basic attack, like, Flash or Retribution will destroy them as well, it'll do, like, millions of damage. So, Flash works. Just being Slice, it works. Now, all this stuff, like, I, like elements and stuff probably matter more on PC when they have the type ele uh, update, but... All these guides, you gotta realize, or remember, that they're not gonna be based on the type update at all. So... That's something to keep in mind. Uh, Dark Musashi, you know, she'll work. She will destroy Tensho. She will probably do enough damage to destroy a lot of them. Um... Genai, yeah, collapsing, like I said. Izuna, Izuna works really good in Osame. Fireball, uh, wind. Like, Izuna just works on Osame and Gakaho because she has ice, wind, fire. She can she can do it. And then Luna, 
Luna technically has rain. She can she can do things. She has holy. She has slice. I don't know how well Luna works in anything, so I never really recommend her. Um, so that's that. So here we go. Um, here's now like the hardest part about the the dragon arcs. That's this is what really separates building a dragon arc compared to building a um, what do you call those things? A gargoyle. So. And that is that you need a juncture weapon to craft them. So just by comparison, let's look at a gargoyle weapon. So the gargoyles are not in order, and that's annoying. Um, so if I look at a flash foot or something. Okay, so the flash foot guardian. The flash foot guardian, you need an oni no dachi. Like for every, every gargoyle, you need an oni no dachi. And then like a couple of their drops. And then once you make, you get this oni no dachi to 50, that's it. Um, you know, you put your stuff on it, you get the drops, you make it, you smelt it, you like enhance it to 10, and then you can make the bolt, and then you enhance the weapon to 10, you just get these drops, bam, you can make a bolt. I can actually make a bolt, that's funny. And then after that, you make a storm, and I don't know where the storm is, actually. Because <gasps> the recipes are so scary. And then you get that to plus 10, you get the drops, you get more drops, then you have yourself a storm. That's a gargoyle. They're very, very easy to make. They just, you just got to do the energy stuff. However, when you get to the dragon arcs, um, if I can go find the Horyu horn, you need a Kubi Sasumato. So it's not an Oni no Dachi. You need your juncture weapon at plus 50. And for some people, this is really easy. For other people, this is a pain in the ass. So then you need some Idama. It's not that hard to get the Idama with Daily Search. Just do that a couple times. Get your stones from Daily Search or just run some Oshu dungeons like Alluring Cavern or Suai Forest or New. Get the mags there. Break them down. You know, I'm talking about Warriors, Boons, Mocha mags, North mags. Those things there. Just get a bunch of them. Break them down. You'll get stones. And then you just run the Dragon Arcs. You get their, their drops and then you can make it. Pretty simple. So, it all really comes down to the juncture weapon, though. That's probably the most annoying part. Is because a lot of people... A lot of people will... Um, you know, it, it all, it's, it's all case-to-case -case based on if you're going to artisan your juncture weapon or not. But... Um, uh, it really comes down to which class you are. But most people... Uh, will choose to artisan the juncture weapon just because it's annoying. Um, when I was making my original Dragon Arcs, um, I did not artisan the Kubi Sasumatas because it's pretty easy for Spear. Um, like, Spear's pretty easy. Like, you get a Ningen Mukotsu to 32. That's like uh, underground caverns. You just run, like, Byako for, like, a day. Maybe you get a Cancer. Great, you know? That's why I run it. Um... You know, you just get this thing, get it to 32, and then you can make a Kubi Sasumata. Like, I had made, like, my first two Dragon Arcs without Artisans on this. And it just, it took, like, a day. It took, like, a long time. But after that, because I smelt, I made, like, 10 or 12 Kubi Sasumatas, failed a few smelts. But I was able to do it. Because the only thing hard in this recipe is purified oil. And if you're in Tanigashima, Curse Blood is easy. If you're in Tanigashima, Shunabon Horn is very easy. And then Sinister Bones is, like, training grounds. It's very easy. Large Skull. Again, training grounds. It's very easy to get a Large Skull. You know, and you're running Juncture anyway to get your recipe. You get Large Skulls in there a lot. Like, it's not that bad. And you can get Shunabon Horn there as well. So just running Juncture gets it done. But, like, Tanigashima for Shunabon Horn and Tanigashima for Cursed Blood. Purified Oil, you get that from the Three-Eyed Sumashi. I had got all of mine from bargains a long time ago, so I didn't really care. If you don't have your if you don't have purified oil, like just farm one and artisan it. Like honest to God, don't waste your time. Like if you have the artisans though, collapsing arrow is cancer. I agree, total oil. So, so yeah, Kubi Sasumata. These weapons here, the juncture weapons. So we're talking like No Thung, Kubi Sasumata, Lorelei. Um, you know, things like that. I don't really know what they all are. The Penangulon. I don't know what they're all called. Yeah, fever is coming. So, 
so yeah, like the juncture weapon is like the hardest part. You just want to artisan that up. That's what I did last night. I got the weapon made, artisaned it up, used amulets. Because if I'm using artisans, I'm using amulets. That's just how I am. I don't care what the weapon is. <laughs> I care more about the artisans than the weapon for amulets. But I won't. I only. I didn't use my 30s. I used my 20s. So I made that last night. So we're gonna start making it actually. So there's the um, Horyu Foe Hammer Horn. That's the first level. It's kind of lame looking. You just need stones and stuff. Uh, I need to go unfavorite things though. So I can't actually make it. And I apologize it's like 25 minutes in that I'm actually making the weapon. But I'm, I'd rather I talked about how to fight Dragon Arch and give the tips I can and all that stuff. Before I actually do this. And not just, hey I'm just going to record me making a weapon. Haha. <laughs> like that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I did, but that's not all I wanted to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, I probably have all my shit favorited. I, I guarantee it. Um, if it's on my inventory, it's probably favorited. It's not! It's not! Nothing's favorited. Oh my god! So, in storage, you know, let me see if I have favor anything favorited at all. Uh, when Dragon Arcs come, I'm putting triple cursed arrow and double geki. Yeah, that could work. So let me see, do I have, I have my Uryu scales favorited, so I'm going to unfavorite them. Oh, those are Uryu, I don't need Uryu. I need Horyu. Uryu Jewel, Horyu Bone, I need to unfavorite that. Horyu Webbing, Reverse Scale, Fallen Cross, oh yeah, we don't need that. Horyu, Horyu, I'm just going to search by name, actually, and just find Horyu. Because everything's just going to be Horyu. H-H-H-H-H-H-H-H. -h 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 -h. I have a globe. Woo! Okay. H H H H H H. Okay. Here's there's all the H. So there's my three jewels, my scales, my spines. All right. So all my Horyu stuff is unfavorited. So, you know, uh, scale and webbing is your normal drops. Spine and reverse scale is your hard drops, and then bone and jewel are your hell drops. Jewel is like a 15% drop rate, and it's kind of really really bad. It's really bad. Like, jewels suck to get them. Like, I have 20 bones to 3 jewels. Like, this is not heart to marrow. This is, like, bone to jewel sucks. So, you switch to bow. I didn't know that. A lot of people do that. So, I've unfavorited all my stuff. Uh, time to get into it. So, Shizuka is going to smelt my weapons, because why not? Uh, she volunteered too, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust Yoshitsune to smelt my weapons. Um, and that's, that's never a good thing to do. So, Faux Hammerhorn, I'm gonna click my Kubi, unfavorite that. Uh, what skills did I get on it? I got Taunt, Way of the Spear, and Poison Fang. OP? OP? Alright, so Stones, I don't really care. Just smooth that. Bam! You'll switch to Twitch soon! <laughs> that's great. Alright, so, um, Weapon Enhancement. So I just made it. It should be in recent. Pretty easy to make. Uh, Horyu Hammerhorn. 64 grade. Pretty good. I don't really care. It comes with the Ogi. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now that on PS4 anyway, you cannot extract the rank 4 Ogi. You can't extract the rank 5. You can't extract the rank 6. Um, I would love it if we could extract the rank 5. That'd be great because then you could have 5 and 6 in your weapon. It'd be the meta. It'd be so cool. But you can't do that because you can't extract those Ogis, which sucks. So you had to get the mega ones. That's that's what's all important about it. So now I need to enhance this thing to like ten. So that's gonna happen. Do we literally have nothing? We have nothing. No. I don't have any unidentified weapons. No. All right. So I need to get something to enhance this with. I have nothing to enhance. Um, I'm gonna use some weapons I have, I guess. Um, I thought I had some weapons. So, do I not have weapons? I have one Dark Arrow Hatchman. Why is it favorited? Okay. Eat the Dark Arrow Hachiman. Um, fragment. Golden Hell Fragments and High Grade Totals. Eva says no. Eva says no. You have 300 Sui Bronze? Do I? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah.
I didn't know I had bronze. I'm just gonna use bronze. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, okay. I'm just like all this stuff, like 999. Like, oh, I have 300. Let's sort. Oh, I have like arcanes. Let's fucking take those. I don't even want these. We're just gonna take those. Okie dokie. All I need is the these things. I don't need anything else. They'll go faster if anything. So how much is three? Like these these things enhance pretty good. One. Oh man, they suck. <laughs> Don't matter. I'm not gonna use the silvers anyway. I'm not. I don't really need moon weapons at all. So, don't matter to me. All right. So that enhanced. It doesn't really matter. Um, smelting. So, oh, and I don't want to smelt it. No, 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 no. See. This is proof that I don't know a damn thing that I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so once you make the base form, you do the second form. Or actually, no, wait, you this wait. You make the normal form to make the base form. Okay, so this is the base. Okay, so. So that way you need your hammer horn at plus 10, or your, your base form, whatever you want to call it. You need 80 of each stone, and then you need your drops. They just drop over time. Hard and normal are very easy. Very easy to do. Um, I highly recommend that if you already have your gargs, just do, like, Dragon Arc Hells first. Like, do your Hells first, because that's where you're going to spend your most time. Like, don't, you know, do the Hells first, then once you get your Hells, then just go do the normals and the hards. That's easy. That's way easy, and you can do way more of those. Like, it's just... I find it better to just work backwards. Because you're not going to use the, the, the normals and the hards anyway. Like, they're ass. So. Um, so just smith that up. You know, smith that uh, weapon. I still don't know what I'm trying to get this. I still don't know what I'm doing. You made your vow a long time ago? Nice. Nice. So what did I even get on it? I got wind thrust... Poison Fang and Charge Spike. This is the best. I'm going to keep it. It's got Wind Thrust on it. Just kidding. Alright, so that's how you make the hard. You just click the button. Cool. So, weapon enhancement. What do we get on it? I don't even know. Um, so, I got 61 grade. I'm seeing a, a consistent 60 grade. Hopefully, we get a high grade on the Zenith. You're not 121? Oh, that sucks. So, Way of the Spear, Charge Spike, Devastation Slash. So, that's pretty cool. So... Uh, this thing here, I'm going to enhance that with these silvers right quick. Uh, hi, Kenneth. So, any tips for someone new? Uh, if you're currently on Xbox, um, for someone new, my first tip is always to um, try out every weapon type at the beginning of the game. Like, make as many characters as you can and try every weapon type and find the one you like. You know, don't just pick one character and just assume they're going to be, like, the best character. Like, make a character you want. Like, the first character you make should be, like, what your avatar you want them to look like. You, the name you want them to have. But then, like, try, um, you know, make other characters using different weapon types and see which weapon you like. And whatever weapon you like, like, just, just stick with that one. Like, just so try out every weapon type. That way you're not too deep, and then you find out, I don't really like this weapon. I want to use something else. My, my, that's my first tip, is always just try out every weapon type, and find the one you like. Then, just specialize in that one weapon type, and just, you know, go in. Don't try to build, like, five different characters at the same time. Like, pick one you like, and stick with that one character, that one class. Or if you're if you like bow and twin, play dexterity. If you like sword, odachi, axe, play power type. You know, don't play power type. Like you know, play those types. Like don't you want to specialize your points in in, in an end game state? So you want like a hundred power, so you could play any power class you want. You want a hundred dex, so you can play bow or twin. But if you if you really like spear, because I find spear the funnest thing, you can't just like 
play spear offhand because then you don't have like vitality like you don't want to touch vitality if you're gonna play spear you have to play spear like it, it's one of those things i mean you could play spear bow twin that's fine but like if you're gonna go into vit you might as well play spear so basically the my, my biggest tip for someone new is just try out everything before you specialize don't just you know like see your horizon see what you like so you have been playing as a spear build and your brother was a, okay so yeah Oh, this is sister. Oh, hey, sister. So, uh, basically, yeah. If you're gonna play spear, like you got to put all your points into vitality. If you like, you can't beat around the bush if you're gonna play spear. Like you can't just, you can't just. Like I mean, you don't have to have affinity, but that that's a whole nother debate. Just my biggest tip is just try out every class, find one you like, and stick with it. So now I'm gonna just continue on here, enhancing. I don't know why I didn't hit enhance. So that's done. So, that's enhanced to 10. Nice now, here's like the biggest annoying different thing between Arcs and Dragon Arc. Or Arcs and Gargoyle. Sorry, I'm going to make the mistake a million times. So I made my weapon to 10. I can't make my Zenith. Why is that? Because you need this thing at 15. So here you have two options. And those options are, one, you can make another juncture weapon to make another hard to get this thing to plus 15. Or you can artisan it. it. It's a lot like Satan and the stars. Like it's not in, like it's it's annoying. You artisan your star. You don't have to, but goddamn, I'm not making a second juncture weapon. That's like, it's and especially if you artisan your juncture weapon, there's no reason you should not artisan in the hard. Like it's just uh, like it's, it's dumb. It's either like I'm gonna spend like I'm gonna I'm gonna use like ten artisan swords. To get my two juncture weapons to 50. Just so I can... Like, you don't do it. You don't do it. You just... You just... You artisan the hard. Like, don't even... Don't even do that. Don't even do that. We have artisans for reasons. See, she knows. Yeah. So that's what you do. So when it comes to hard, you artisan the second form. There, There is, like, very little debate you can have about this. <laughs> very little debate about this so artisan sword um you don't really need to do any artisan option except for success because the hard mode doesn't matter so smelt that up all right so done so then you enhance it to like plus five so great if i would have failed that on stream oh i would have highlighted it i would have made it its own video i would have said like freaking oh my i would have been i've been fucking so mad <laughs> you have no idea. So there, it's at plus 17. Make the- No, don't make the cheap artisans with metals. You, you're you off your rocker. You're off your rocker with that. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't do that. You make fuse with metals. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, no. Thank you for the luck, Eva. No, no. You make 105s and fuse with metals. Get out of here. Do not make artisans with metals. You're off your rocker. So once it's at plus 15 or higher, mine's at 17, doesn't matter. Then you have my permission to make the Zenith. So Or the game's permission, I, I guess Yoshi used to say. So you need like 150 Idama, 150 stones, 100 um, Miracle Stones. And if you make fuse with blueprints, maybe. You make fuse with seal. I'd rather use metals than a seal, to tell you the truth. Unless I had a seal, then it's fine. But if I don't have a seal, it's metals. Like, I don't want to farm seal. Fuck that. I'm farming seal tomorrow. I don't want to. <laughs> Glacier ones suck. Exactly. Exactly. So, this thing's ready to be built. I have my three jewels, the bones, the miracles, the four dudes, the bit bop, doodly stones. All right. So, 14 mil to make it. That's not too bad. Um, currently waiting for no update. I don't get iron every day like I used to. Oh, okay. Some hit Smith. Yeah, of course you artisan your base. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's that's the whole thing. We're saying you don't do that. So um, we're going to smith that up. Uh, base. Hopefully we get a good grade. If not, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be very, very upset if I don't get a good grade. So, uh, so that's been built. So I'm going to go to weapon enhancement and see our new Zenith. So... It is grade 97! Mm-hmm! That's good! 
Thank you for the luck. Mmm, that shit good. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that little meme, but that's like the, the guy says that. It's like, mmm, that shit good. And that shit is good. <laughs> that shit good. Grade 88, nah, man. 97. We're top tier. <laughs> So we're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit that. Uh, that favorite button there. That's bullshit. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna use cudgels just so it's good. So we're gonna get them cudgels um, out. I only have 60 mil. So so here's the thing, right? So I have this debate. Like I can't smelt it right now. Like I can't get it to 100. I can't. There's no way in hell that I can get it to 100. So, I'm a mute. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, so here's my dilemma, right? So, for, for all you guys know, like, my current goal is to get Miyamoto to 100. And Miyamoto is, like, really close to 110. I said 100, I meant 110, aka 150, because I got four scrolls. So, Miyamoto's really close. And this takes a lot of... A lot of stone, not stones, a lot of, I say stones because that's money for me. I run black stones for money. Um, you know, so I need to get her to like 110. It's going to take a lot of Ryu. I do have a spear guide. It's a little, yeah, I have a couple spear guides. Yeah, I do. There are some spear guides. So like as much as I want to build this Zenith up like right now and just go with all that stuff and you know, just get in there. I don't have anywhere close to the Ryu I need. And even if I started smelting it now, I I just use the Ryu I need for Miyamoto. So I don't think I'm going to smelt the Zenith up like now at all. I'm going to wait for after fever when I get a lot of money farming palace and farming Lucifer and things like that. Then I'll have the ingredients to make it. But for now, I can't really smelt this thing up. But um, what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put some skill cards on it. Um, you know, I shouldn't need to tell people that when they make a dragon arc, um, I will have to tell people something, actually. So let's look at this. Um, so the Zenith is right there. So that, that's a good grade. Anything higher than 64, anything higher than 54 is a good grade. Anything under is bad. Um... You know, are manageable. Anyway, so there's the Zenith. This is a pretty green weapon. Um, so, one thing I wanted to say about it, real quick, about Dragon Arcs, is that on PS4, anyway, Dragon Arcs do not show their elements. It just says it does a bonus of 2 damage at a 10% rate. It does not actually show the elements that it gives you. The only way you can find out the elements on PS4 that a Dragon Arc or L weapon, the same thing with L Sin. The L Sin does not show me the elements it gives me. It does not. And the Zenith will not, but the completion will. It shows you all this shit that it does. It does not show you what they do. Um, if you want to see the full list of what they do, you have to go in the wiki. Just look them up. But um, status details, you'll see that I have 90 wind and 25 mountain. Essentially, the dragon arc weapons give you 60 wind, like 60 of one element, 60 of another. If your power or whatever your main stat is over 120. If your main stat is over 120, then it will go to, um, you'll gain 60 wind, 60 mountain, and then on Alsame, it's 60 water, 60 lightning, or rain, or whatever, and then the Tensho is 60 holy, 60 fire. So, put the grade 6 for more extra dura. No, I don't care about that. It'll just come. <sighs> yeah, like the higher grade, yeah, the dura is good, yeah. So... Basically, with the Gakaho, I'm going to have 90 wind. Pretty high. I thought I'd have higher, but 90 wind's pretty good. And I have mountain. I have a bit of mountain. Um, when I get a third fuse, yeah, then I'll have 120 wind, and it'd be really good. But I'll have, like, 10 mountain, which for me is good, because I always have negative mountain. So it's kind of good. I'm totally putting Stone Spire on it, because it'll be the only positive mountain weapon I'll ever have in my life. <laughs> like, so far, there's nothing like good mountain weapons yet. So, there's the Zenith. Um, they start out really low base attack. That's just how they are. Um, doesn't mean you gotta be too vain. You don't need to be vain at all. So, um, what I'm planning on doing for the Zenith is I'm gonna put on three skill card sevens, and one of them's gonna be um, Stone Spire Barrier, and I'm gonna skill change. 
and I'm going to try and get um, Whirlwind Thrust 7, Stone Spire 7. If I can get those two, I'll be God. Um, that's what I really want is Wind Thrust 7. That's like the whole point of this weapon is another shot at Wind Th a Whirlwind Thrust 7 and another Verdant Storm weapon. So yeah, PC it would show Element. We've told Cyberstep, but they don't. They don't show it at all. Like, we've told them since Dragoners came out that, that these weapons do not portray their elements. We've sent them pictures, and they've never updated it. Like, same thing with the Sin, like I said. Same thing with L. Anything with that bonus of 2 damage effect does not show the rest of its abilities. It's just how it is. Ogi 4. Oh, man. No, no, no. No, no. Verdant Storm. Like, I kind of want Ogi 4. Like, I agree. I would love Ogi 4, but at the same time, I want to keep the tornado because I like, I love tornadoes. Like, tornadoes are like my favorite thing. I, I don't want to get rid of the tornado. But if the tornado's ass and Earth of Bending Spear works, I might put Earth of Bending Spear on. We don't, I don't know yet. I gotta see. So, that that's another tidbit I wanted to say about the element. Oh, Eva's got her Gakaho too. We're green. We're green machines. But Brody had a good video with Ogi 4 in it, did he? Yeah, like, I know it can do a lot. I've talked to him with it before, like, about it. It's like, oh my god, it does a lot of good stuff. Because it's a really good move. Like, mine's already ranked 6 and all that stuff. But, um, I think Brody uses, like, different mags than I do. Things like mastery and knowledge and other things that don't have as much negative element. Um, you know... Like, the things with negative out, like, his, he, he's not using Thunderquakes, I don't think. When he uses this weapon, when he uses Mountain, he's not using Thunderquakes. Like, if I was using, let's say, Knowledge Mags or Mastery Mags or stuff like that that doesn't have negative Mountain, then yeah, I would be all for Earth Up Ending Spear all day. But for that point, yeah, it, it's, it's more like Wind because my Fuse actually give me Wind. You apologize. I have almost maxed my main stat on Daring. That's good. Daring's good. You know, Dex is a good thing. So, oh man, I need to taunt. I'm going to taunt Eva. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so, and let's say I don't get Whirlwind Thrust 7. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stop at 90 and I'm just going to throw on, like, um, Wind Thrust 4, Wind Thrust 5, and um, Stone Spy Barrier 7. That's all I'd really do. Do I worry about doing the story before grinding for levels? Yes. Actually, yes. Um, like, sure, it's fine to grind at times, but the most important thing in Onigiri is to get your friendship items. And if you power level too much as you're going through story, it might be hard for you to get friendship items. And you can actually, like, screw up story progression if you don't get enough friendship items to get through places like Kyoto and Nether and Echigo especially. So, I say never, never be 10 levels higher. Never be 10 levels higher than the dungeons you're running on hell. Like, never be that high. Never be that high. That's what I'd say. So, never be 10 levels higher than you need to be. Sure, it's fine to power level, but never be more than 10 levels. Because once you're more than 10 levels higher than what you're supposed to be doing, you'll stop getting friendship items and you could impede your journey and have to backtrack or do extra dungeons that are harder or things like that. So, yeah, ice caverns, hell. Yeah, those things. So, why? What happened? I don't know what they're apologizing for either. So anyway, I'm gonna throw on some skill cards, and I'm gonna do one smelt. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna do the one skill change. See how that goes, because uh, that'll be fun. Oh, that's a fun! Oh my god! My phone. Okay, Intimidate 7 went on. I'm just putting on the 3 7s. So, where's Skull Card 5? Thundercrack. Put that on. A and these weapons have negatives as well. So, like, I can't put Water Dragon Spear on it. It's negative as rain. So, I can't put Water Dragon on it. Because you know, God knows I would. God knows I would. Why? Why you do this to me? Why? 
Why? Why? Alright, now I just need another skill to go on top. Where's Ice Blossom? Is that skill card 3? Yeah, it is. So Ice Blossom just needs to eat lunch step and then I'm good to go. Fuck. This is why I don't trade in my skill cards until I need them. To be traded in for points. Okay, good. So we're done. So it took about 5 cards to get 3 skills on there. Great. Um, so I'm going to intimidate on it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to get up my cudgels. I'm going to do like one or two spells. It depends how expensive they are. If they're, if they're cheap, I'll do it. If not, then I won't. But I want to do at least one. I want to do at least one smell. Like one skill change. Just see what happens. I didn't put Soul Inspire on. I'm stupid. Oh my god. I apologize. Oh my god. I'm dumb. I Because I didn't think of it. I was like, the phone was ringing. I'm like, I just need to get these cards on here. Oh my god. Fuck, I can't click anything. I want to put Stone Spire on. Anyway, I don't have to worry about Stone Spire getting overwritten now. So that's a that's a bonus. I'd I'd rather that happen. That's cool. That's a good that's a good strategy. Put it on last after you get all your sevens on. Want that one skill to stay there. All right, cool. So Stone Spire is on. Cool. So that's actually pretty cool. I I, I like that. Use the skill cards you have a lot of. Get rid of everything if you're skill changing. Then throw on the one skill you want to keep. Yeah, grade 3 is going to be real cheap. Yeah, it will. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. So, weapons. There's my cudgels. Mm, I have a lot of these cudgels. I'm going to take these Hikiro Kanes. Thank you. Take all. Yes. <laughs> Nanika Yoka, we're gonna help and enhance. Alright, so now I'm going to go to... Where's my cudgels? There's there. So one cudgel should do the trick. The Ryu cost isn't the real problem. Well, for me it is. I'm poor as fuck. <laughs> I hope I get one thrust seven too. That'd be great. The dragon arcs are lower in attack. Yeah, so... I find for the Dragon Arcs is, um, well, my grade's going to be done at, at plus three anyway. Like, it's at 97, so I don't need to go to six. But, um, like, what's the point of the Dragon Arcs with the low attack? It's because they, can, they have a chance of doing double damage, and they have the most wind. Like, sure, I could build another Nova, but I don't want another Nova. I was closer to a, a Dragon Arc anyway. Like, I don't want three Novas. I don't. Like, I really don't want a third Nova. I wanted, it like, a Gakaho. So I could use Verdant Storm on it. The Night Sky is really good. The Night Sky is really worth it, but individually, like, you have to have a purpose. Like, I'm pretty sure this thing's Verdant Storm because it's, like, 60 wind, as opposed to the Nova being 40 wind. The extra wind's gonna help me out in the damage department. Especially since my mags give me more wind. So it's really for Verdant Storm for me. So, um, let's see how this skill change goes. How expensive are these things? Oh, so smelting. I haven't done a dragon arc in God knows how long, so. Well, I'm, I'm apparently I'm smelting swords. Spur. Uh, e. Shouldn't it be at the top? It is, okay. So two mil. Oh, two mil. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I don't need any of that. Well, I do, but I don't. One mil. What's a what's a skill change? That's that's skill change. I put that first. I'll put my ten percent amulet. Fuck it, that's fine. So skill change and grade up three. Yeah, because I only need to go to a hundred. So that's perfect. So five mil. That's fucking easy. That's fucking easy. So hopefully this passes, and let's see what happens. I'm not in all chat. I can't actually see what just happened. Usually I, I have my chat up and I can just see what changed right away. Well, yeah, Mephi weapons would overall be better, but Mephi weapons are negative wind and negative mountain. The only reason I'm making this... Oh, you're talking Night Sky. Yeah, that's great. If you can get to Night Sky, get it. Or if you can make um, Mephi weapons, sure. Go get a Mephi weapon. But in overall like story progression, Mephi weapons come out a lot later than Dragon Arcs. 
And for most classes, Night Sky is like the only really good dark weapon they can use on, let's say, Lucifer or things weak to dark. Um, whereas Fever, it's Friday. Fever starts on the weekend. If there was Fever right now, I would not be making any videos at all. Um, so, oh my god! Oh god. I didn't even notice. Oh god. Eva, you're lucky, but fuck. Win throw seven. What do I do? 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 Do I do what do I do? Do I put Stone Spire on? What do I do? What do I do? No? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It ate it. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I risk the biscuit? Do I risk it? I don't know. I don't care about mountain. I really don't care about mountain. What do I do? What do I do? Don't do it. All right. I won't do it. What do I do? Negative. <laughs> Risk it, you'll succeed. Man. I think I'll keep the wind. Risk it for this. Risk it for the white sauce biscuits. No. I want a picture of this. You never know what could have been. Yeah, but it'll eat it. Like, I'm, it's fine. It's got Ice from Mephistopheles and Whirlwind Thrust 7 and Vernon Storm. It'll be fine. It's fine with me. I, I am perfectly okay with this because I'm just building it from Mephistopheles. It's fine. Take one shot. What do you mean one shot? I did one shot. It's good. What do I do? I don't know what to do. I, 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 I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it the fuck alone. Because my mags give me lightning. Sure, ice is my negative, but it kind of works on Mephi if I need it. Oh my god. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Fuck it. I do have negative mountain anyways. You're right. Like, it's... It's only 10 mountain. It's only 10 mountain. It's fine. Throw... No. 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 I can't just go to single player mode and make sure it goes on right. I can't do that. Can't do it. This is this is worth. This is worth. Sure, I risk the biscuit with rolling thunder, but this is like the move I want on the weapon. Like I'm not fucking with it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Thundercrack, that's my positive element, my other positive element. This is seven. I'm not throwing on six. Fuck that. GG. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go. Look at this thing skill for us. I'm not getting rid of this. Look at this. I've never fucking used this skill in my life. Rank one. I'm keeping it. Fuck it. Fuck all you people. <laughs> nah, I don't, I'm not saying fuck you guys. I'm just saying I'm going to I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. Stone Spire. As cool as Stone Spire is, World One Thrust 7 is here to stay. GG it. Yeah, man. Totes. Totes. Throw a five. What? You're stupid. No. Why would I throw a five on it? No. You're dumb. No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't put on... No, I'm not listening to you. No. It's fine. All I wanted was Rollwind Thrust and Verdant Storm anyway. Like, I didn't even want it for the skills. I just wanted a, a third weapon I could switch to Verdant Storm with, hit Mephistopheles, switch back, and Verdant Storm, Verdant Storm. That's all I wanted, was just another Verdant Storm, because I found out... Because I noticed that when I'm on cooldown, I have nothing to do. But if I had a third Verdant Storm, it would even out the cooldowns. It would all just work out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, I'm, I'm gonna leave it on. Th this was the dream. This was the whole reason I made it, was for Wind Thrust 7 and Verdant Storm. And that's, that's going to be enough. That's, that's great. I'm happy. The other skills don't matter. 
I'm only going to be using Whirlwind Thrust, Horror You, and Verdant Storm anyway. So. <sighs> is it negative ice? Because, yeah, it is like the same thing as the Night Sky, where it's like, I got the Collapsing Blade. I'm not fucking with it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to look up the um, Horror You, the thing right real quick here. It's a who do you? Who do you? Or something like that. I can't even spell the name. Who are you? I'm trying to see if it's negative ice as well. Um, who are you? Foe. Foe hammer on Zenith. I know it's negative rain. I don't know if it's negative ice. That's what I just don't know. Like, I know... Uh, it is negative ice. Oh my god. It's the most negative ice weapon I've ever had. <laughs> You're right. Cooldown is so fast. How fast is the is the cooldown? Like, I've never used Warmer Thrust 7. I don't know. It's just negative ice? I thought it was negative rain as well. What? What? Negative mountain, negative wind, negative ice. Oh yeah, okay. That's fine with me. I don't care. It's not negative lightning. That's okay with me. That's fine. Yeah, you're right. You don't really need. So cooldown. How much cooldown the whirlwind does have? So I use it. Oh, it's it's like right there. If I get a third fuse, it's gonna be instant. Yeah, yeah. I don't need any of those. Absolutely. You're right. Yep. At least it's not intimidate. That's the point there. At least it's not intimidate. I don't know if you have seen my dragon or the um the Dayton Rue. I pulled out all these fucking cudgels. I use one. <laughs> Yeah. It wouldn't matter if it were negative lightning. Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah. And then Fusion Bear comes. I can use that wind. So that's cool. Um, so where is the... Um, yeah, the Night Sky. Night Sky is Intimidate, Class and Blade, Water Dragon. Like, I love my Night Sky. I don't care if it has Intimidate on it. This is like the same thing where it has Thundercrack. It's fine. Yeah, I don't want to lose it either. Use Intimidate when we do Typhon? No. <laughs> no. No. See, so, yeah, I'm fine with that. Whirlwind Thrust 7? That's fine. To be honest, you should have put Triple Aqua? Maybe. Hi, Anime. I'm just wondering what's different on PS4 than Xbox. Okay. So, um... The difference between Xbox and PS4 is ps4 has way more content updates yeah we're like a like at least five six updates on it xbox does not receive as much update support for some reason and xbox has um glitches or exploits however you want to define them that make it so that you can get perfect results in a game that's highly based on our rng random number generated so um technically on Xbox, there are exploits to basically cheat the game. Glitches, you can call them, whatever you want to say. Exploit, glitch, whatever, however you want to define it. And But they have, like, no content updates. But X, uh, PS4 has, like, at least five to six updates ahead. We get constant updates, and we don't have glitches and stuff like that. That's basically the main difference between Xbox and PS4. Um, apart from that, they can't play with each other. Same thing as PC, can't play with anyone else. So... That's, that's pretty much the differences. And I'll give you another difference. Xbox has to pay play, um, Xbox Live membership to play Onigiri. Uh, PS4, you do not need PlayStation Plus to play Onigiri because it's a free-to-play game. But on Xbox, even though it's a free-to-play game, um, you can... Um, you can play it without any subscription, but Xbox is subscription-based. Also, yeah... PS, uh, Xbox has Bazaar, a.k.a. Trading. PS4 does not, because Sony doesn't like it. So those are your pros and cons. Uh, the glitch is called uh, God's Glitch GG. Um, you can probably look it up in pretty much any forum. Um, it's a thing where you go to single-player mode in the game, because they have single-player mode, and anything that happens in single-player mode does not auto-save on its own. You have to save it manually, to my knowledge. And um, basically, you... Like, let's say I just did... Like, the skill change I just did here. Let's say... Um, they did the skill change, it didn't come out right. They do it in single player mode, doesn't come out right. They go back, uh, they don't save, basically soft reset, and try it again until it works. That's pretty much all the glitch is. 
It's a single player mode. You just do something. And when it doesn't work out right, you dashboard before the game saves. You load back in and it just works. There's a forum for it? Probably. Probably. Um, I'm pretty sure. Someone's talked about it at some point. I mean, I know about it. My chat's a forum. Go look through my videos and read the chat. There's forums for that. Should I use the third fuse when I build it to make the sin or just use it to Tempest? Probably Tempest. If I well, how I see it, Mist, is if you have a fuse that comes out shitty, use it for the sin. That's what I did. I have a double. I had a double SP uh, fuse. I used it for the sin. And I know that when Fever rolls around, I'm going to run for more seals anyway. I'm going to be doing Oni medals anyway. I'm going to get them back anyway. It's all just about are you okay with going back down in cooldown? That's 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 my that's how I thought about it for sin, because I had used um, I had three one of them was bad used metals for a dancing water done, so yeah so zenith is great, so whirlwind thrust yeah the cooldown is low that's a very good point they made, a month ago they said they were going to update Xbox I was excited but there's no update yeah they say that all the time, and they said oh we're going to work on the European servers once they're done we're going to update, and. I want to make a video after Fever about the state of Xbox because I've been working on this video with a guy for a guy. Or not for a guy. I've been working on a video with a guy because he wanted me to make a video about Xbox and talk about it. And he gave me like all the information I needed to know about the culture there and everything. And I want to make a video about Xbox and just talk about it. And if there's no update by then, then it's going to be the same as, as it is planned for me now. But after Fever, sometime after, you know, next week, around that time, I'll make a video talking about Xbox, the state of it. And, you know, just how I see it and stuff like that. So, um, so that's going to be coming in the future. But right now, we're, we're an hour in into making, you know, a really fun video where I got an awesome skill change. And I made a weapon and explained Dragon Arx. And I want to just keep it to Dragon Arx. So, that's, that's awesome. So, the skill change worked. That's on stream. It's recorded. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Um, you still can't get over the irritable valve syndrome. Man, it happens. It happens. So... That's awesome. We just witnessed another miracle. Whirlwind Thrust 7, first try. That's fine with me. Stone Spire can stay where it is. I don't care. Um, if if the skill change wouldn't have worked, I would have just put... Um, I would have just put um, Whirlwind Thrust like 4 or 5 in Stone Spire, and that would have been the weapon. But um, Cybercept never said it was just perhaps people harassing... Yeah. Cybercept never officially said it, but what Elohim's saying is actually uh, really true. So, because I think they want to keep Europe and US the same pace, um, if they said that Miyamoto is only going to last until... Wait, what's 517? Look at Mia's availability listed on Europe. It ends 517. So, 517... What month is 5? Are we in the 5th month now? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, May is 5th. I, I thought April was the 5th month for like a second. Okay. So, what they're saying is Miyamoto is only going to last until May 17th. So, May 17th, right? Um, let's, let's say that's the date that they're going to update. If they want to keep them both on the same page, then they'll update at the same time. I heard Sony, Microsoft, and PC are thinking of making games that you can play with everyone. So, like PC and PS4. Yeah, like cross-platform. So, um, there are games like, I'm pretty sure that Street Fighter has a net code where it can play against other consoles. Like, I think PC and, P and PS4 can play. I'm not sure about that or not, but I've heard that some games are like that. Anime, there are, yeah, there are games like that, yeah. It could be possible, but it'd be really unbalanced, I don't know. But if they're planning on keeping Europe and US Xbox on the same update page all the time... They're not going to update uh, EUS until um, until they're um, you know both had a chance to get Miyamoto. Then they'll keep them on the same page. And if they were to update, they would update them both on the 17th. And that means we might even get an update on the 17th. We don't know. But like I said, um, yeah, I made the the Zenith. This is the Dragon Art Guide. I didn't want it to be an hour long, but I did the best I could. Answered your guys is you know, inquiries and talk to you guys and, you know, made sure everyone heard their, had their voices heard and stuff. So made the Zenith, got World War Thrust 7. That's fucking amazing. I'm going to have to celebrate somehow. 
I uh, can't wait to get this thing to 100 and use it on Mephistopheles. That's going to be a great weapon for me. Even though it's going to be a little weak, I think it'll be really good. I think it'll be really good. So, um, yeah. So, thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For those that have a question about Dragon Arcs, hopefully this gives you guys some answers and some tips into it. And, you know, best of luck with making yours in the future. Any future questions, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section after the video is uploaded. And I will most likely get back to you at some point in time. So that said, see you guys later and have a good day.